Hello everyone, this is Disappointed Frog, and today we are playing Frog Detective 1, A Haunted Island, because hypothetically, if I edit this video and record it within this week, this video should be out the weekend of Halloween, or maybe even on Halloween. Also, there is a there is a moth on my screen, about like right here, um, but if you hear me scream at any point, it's because the moth has moved from the monitor and is now eating me alive. Uh, but with all that being said, let's get into the game. Hello, who is it? This is the supervisor. Hi, supervisor. Hey, how's life? Yeah, pretty good, I reckon. How are things with you? Me and the wife just got back from Indonesia. Ah, well, I'm not even gonna try that. That means welcome back, I think. Thanks. Anyway, what are you calling about? Oh, right. I have a case for ya. Cool. It's a pretty spooky one, so hold on tight. This is what we're here for. We're here for the spooky. Give it to us, Mr. Penguin. There's a little sloth who owns an island just off the bay. Martin's his name. Says he's been hearing a ghost for about two weeks. So, get this. He hires a team of ghost scientists. What's a ghost scientist? I don't know. Anyways, he hires some of them, right? And they can't find anything. They've been on the island for like two weeks. Whoa! The ghost is still at large. So, the head scientist there. A monkey. Oh, the moth is moving towards my hand! You stay there! I'm moving my keyboard. They need help. And they want the greatest investigator I have. So I said to them, I'll send my best investigator. But Lobster Cop wasn't available. So I'm asking you, the second best investigator. I fully understand. Lobster Cop's abilities far outweigh my own. Yeah, but you're pretty good. So... Are you up for it? I don't know. Sounds very scary. I'll have to be brave. I believe in you, detective. That's just what I needed to hear. Thank you, supervisor. I'll do it. Uh-huh. Alright. All right. All right. All right. This moth is staring at me. Uh, look through a magnifying glass with the right click. <gasps> look at... It's going towards the light. Okay. Okay, we're okay. We're... <laughs> ah, you finally made it. Thanks for coming on such short notice. I've heard so much about your adventures. I'm a huge fan. Wow, that's very kind of you. When you figure out who was behind the forest theft in Witchtown, I couldn't believe it. I thought nobody would ever solve that mystery. I mean, who steals an entire forest? Oh, you've been following my blog posts? Yes, I'm Mystery Monkey 49 I comment all the time. I even made a funny joke once and you responded. Ah, uh, of course, I remember. Hi, Mystery Monkey 49 Please, Mr. Monkey 49 is my online name. You can just call me Mystery Monkey. What would you like to know? Uh, tell me where to start. Tell me what I need to do. Who should I talk to first? You're talking to me already. Okay, who should I talk to second? Hmm... Larry, the tall red one, he always wants to meet new people. Although, I think mostly he just wants new people to meet him. I'll check it out. Thanks. Oh, I'm so close to him. Hello. Hey, you're the detective, right? The one the monkey keeps going on about? That's me. I'm so glad they finally brought someone else in. I know nothing. I really should have taken this job. Why did you take it? I'll be honest, I thought it was a secret agent job. Why would you think that? The job listing said ghost scientist. That didn't seem like a real job to me. I thought it was like a cover, you know? One that only smart people could figure out, like me. It could still be a cover. Maybe they're testing you. Oh no, you're right. I better look competent. I'm only joking. Sure. Can I ask you some questions about the case? What else do you want to know? What do you know about the noises coming from this hole? I mean, I'm not great at this job, but I'd be good at other jobs, just letting you know. But, it does seem like there's noises coming from this hole that aren't from a natural creature. They seem otherworldly somehow. They have a weird and distinct tone. Sometimes it sounds like a bird's call, but only sometimes. Wow, that's a lot of good information. Thanks. Yes, I'm very good at finding things out if you know what I mean. Bernie, I'm not a secret agent. Uh-huh. Hi, it's me! Larry! I did not do it. Huh? The noises are not coming from me. I didn't. 
I, Larry, did not make these spooky noises. That's like more suspicious somehow. What? Are you even listening? I said I did not make the spooky noises. No, I heard. I just, I don't like being accused like this. I'm not accused. Oh, you're not? That's such a relief. What can you tell me about the no- Firstly, I am not the one making them. Yep. But I know where they're coming from. They're coming from the cave in the forest. Why haven't you told anyone? Nobody listens to me. They say stuff like, well, Larry, if you won't listen to us, we won't listen to you. And then I get this whole big lecture about, like, my life choices and trying to become a ghost scientist. And my parents never wanted me to do it because they thought it wouldn't work out. But here I am now, standing by this hole, waiting for the cave to speak to me. Which is so weird because I do listen. Maybe they may- I'm a really great listener. So how do we get in the- Well, I need a few things. To get through there, you'll need some sort of, like, explosive device. Is that safe? We're dealing with ghosts here, detective. None of this is safe. I need toothpaste, some wool, a chunk of pure gold, and some pasta. Oh, so the normal explosive ingredients then. I got a magnet. Okay. I don't know what I need that for. Let's talk to this man who's drowning. Maybe he's not drowning. Here. Hey. What are you doing? Hi. Howdy. What are you doing in there? Swimming. But there's a storm. Eh, it's not raining yet. But it's safer in here than it is out there. Why is that? No ghosts in the water. Duh. Because ghosts can't swim. May I ask why you're so sad? Well, it's kind of silly. I really want a magnet. I got that. Huh? I told you, it's silly. Why do you want a magnet? Well... Go on. My dream is to attach a magnet to a boat and hold on. Oh? Why? Boats are fast. I'm not fast. If I hold onto the magnet, I'll be really fast too. Nice. Right? I brought you a magnet. What? Like, a real one? Are you for real? Yeah. This is a dream come true. Thank you so much. No problem. In return, I'll give you this big shell. I don't need it anyways. Who looks like they would want a shell? This guy over here. This guy looks like a shell type. He looks like he'd need a shell. Hey. Hey, my dude. Oh! Oh! Are you the, uh... Yep. Great. You brought my toothpaste shipment? Huh? Uh, no. I'm the detective. Oh, okay. Can I call you detect? Uh, yes. Nice. I have some questions. Is that okay? Take it away, detect. I hope you don't mind me saying, but you have wonderful teeth. <gasps> Thank you. I'm so glad someone finally noticed. How do you keep them so pearly rat white? But Dr. Tight Smiles 101 tooth whitening cool paste for teeth, of, cor of course. I get a shipment here every three days. I grow through the stuff so quickly. I'm down to my last tube. Wow. Where can I get some of my own? Do... Do you have teeth? Um... Well... I could give you my tube, but I would need something else to keep my mouth fresh. This is just a fetch quest, I've realized. This entire game is a fetch quest, and everyone here is honestly just as smart as I am, so I can't insult them too much. Um... You. Hi. You look... You look like you would kill a man, um, and wear their skin, so let's talk to you. Hi. Hello. Are you okay? Yes. Are you sure? Well, I just never talked to a detective before. I've heard so many nice things about you. I don't want to be too embarrassing. If I'm embarrassing, that would be very bad. You're not embarrassing. That's very good news. But the conversation isn't over. There's, there's still time. I have to be careful. Oh. Well, is it okay if I ask you some questions? Questions? Yes, yes, I can do that. You seem very nervous. May I ask why? Uh, because of the detective thing. I told you. Um, it could be this man that's staring directly at me for the past two weeks in the water. Um, he kind of terrifies me. So why are you afraid of me? It's definitely not because I wear the skin of my enemies or anything under this cloak. Fine, you wore me down. Damn your extreme detective skills. I'm nervous because of Mystery Monkey. I was planning on killing him later, but now I can't because you're here. Huh? Mystery Monkey is a huge fan of your blog, so I don't want to make a fool of myself in front of you. I just think Mystery Monkey is super neat, and I don't want to be embarrassing in case I mess everything up. Oh. Well, is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. There's a dance competition coming up tomorrow. What? 
I want to compete and show Mystery Monkey that I'm really good at dancing, but I don't know what style of dance will impress him. Could you ask Mystery Monkey and find out? I can give you this mouse wash, mouth wash in return. Sure thing. I'll do my best. Wait. Who are you? Sir? Sir? Speak to me. Sir? Are you a Jiminy Cricket? Please. Please, what did Disney do to you? I haven't heard of you from you for years. Hey, so, uh, you, uh, hmm? You like dancing and, um, dance styles? I don't understand. Uh, I like dancing a lot, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, kinda. What type of dancing do you like the best? Well, I basically only have one move. Yeah, but, like, I guess what I'm trying to ask is, what dance style do you like the best? Oh, hmm. I think breakdancing is so neat. If I saw someone breakdancing, wow, I would swoon. I would even go so far to say, if I saw someone breakdance, I would be deeply impressed. That I want to hang out with them at all times, forever and ever. Until the end of time. Until the world crumbles and falls. And we're only left with my soulless eyes glaring into the screen. That's... great. Sorry for such a strange question. That's okay. I'm sure it's important to the case. Yeah, uh-huh. Anyways, I'll see you later. Bye! I got a monkey fact! Monkey. Monkey fact. Monkey fact. Monkey fact. Hey, I talked to Mr. Monkey. Oh my gosh. Did you mention me? What did Mr. Monkey say? Does Mr. Monkey hate me? I'm so embarrassing. I didn't even mention you. Huh. Mr. Monkey likes breakdancing the best. Breakdancing? I think I can do that. I gotta start practicing now, though. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, here's the mouthwash before I forget. Cheers. I have some mouthwash for you. Amazing. Thanks. Am I able to use your toothpaste? I almost forgot. Here you go, DJ. We got it. We got the toothpaste. Now, I need to talk to... The off-brand Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared character. Oh, he's gonna stab me. Oh, he's gonna kill me. Ah, stop right there. Huh? Why? My shells! Don't step on my shells! Oh, I won't. We can't be sure of that. I guess not. They're very fragile and small. Aren't we all? I guess. Please be careful. Okay, are you still going to stand like that? Yeah. Why? I'm alarmed. I'm on alert. I am protecting my shells for the dangerous frog feet. Wow. Sorry, I'm just worked up about my shells. I don't mean to be rude, but what shells? I can't see any shells. That's because they're small. How small? Too small for your weak magnifying glass. Wow. Sorry, but it's the truth. I just had to get this one specially made for my tiny shells. Fine. Can I ask you some questions now? Ask me the questions. Just be careful. Why don't you just get a bigger shell? Ha! Ha ha ha! You fool! Hey. Sorry. It's just that there's there's not many big shells around here. And if I could get one, sure. But the magnifying glass would be useless to me. But I don't see a big shell around here, do you? I have a big shell for you, my dude. What? How? It's a long story. Oh. In that case, I don't care. I hate stories. I also hate you, but I'm not gonna say that in front of your face. Okay. Anyways, I totally want the shell. Can I swap you for it? I got a magnifying glass. Now I got two. I have a spare magnifying glass if you're interested. <gasps> interested? Are you kidding me? That's very literally nothing I want more. Here you go. This is the best day ever. All my dreams are coming true. Is there anything I could do to repay you? Do you need any help with your secret agent business? Again, not a secret agent. Fine, fine. I could give you my lunch. Ooh, what's cooking? Pasta, as always. There's one thing I love, apart from the thrill of the secrecy, it's pasta. Anyways, my appetite is satiated from the deliciousness of this magnifying glass. I am going to eat it later, and probably have to go to the ER for it. That's a weird way to word that. Whatever. Would you like the pasta? Heck yeah. All yours. Hasta la pasta! Pasta la vista! Wow! Who are you? I didn't mean to startle you. I'm the frog detective from the agency. Oh, okay. Don't sneak up on me like that. I was visible for the entire approach. Well, fine. I guess just don't look so spooky. Okay. I'll do my best. Sorry, I'm so cranky. I haven't slept in two weeks. I'm Martin, king of the island. You're a king? Well, when I got here, there's nobody else on the island except for me and Finley. So I thought it was fine to declare myself king. Finley? I don't think Finley cares about that sort of stuff. Finley mostly cares about the dance competition. No, I meant to ask, who is Finley? Finley lives on a nearby island and comes to visit every few days. Last time I saw Finley, she was talking about the song she wanted to dance for the competition. 
Her moves were pretty amazing. I haven't seen her in a while, but she's probably still prepping for the competition, if tomorrow. Not that I'll be able to compete with this whole spooky situation going on. Can you tell me about the noises and where they're coming from? I'm not exactly sure where they're coming from, but I know they're coming from a ghost. How would you know that for sure? I have a book about ghosts. It's called The Ghost Guide, Foolproof Ways to Detect Spirit. I read most of it. Anyway, the book says that most ghosts can't be seen, and get this, I haven't seen a single ghost yet. The proof is all there. Ah, uh, your nerves. You seem super nervous. Is there anything I can do to help? It's just the ghost getting me down. I haven't been able to sleep. I'm kind of annoyed too, because I usually love hearing stories about ghosts. I read all about them on the cyberweb.com. Uh, but now, I'm living one. I'm sure we'll get to the bottom of things. Bottom of the grave, more like it. What? That made more sense in my head. I guess I mean, like, we'll probably die before the mystery is solved. Should be, like, really awkward for both of us. Especially because no one comes to this island ever, so, like, they'll never find us again. That's very dark. Dark, just like the conclusion to this tale. Sorry if I'm being dramatic. You know I'm a good detective, right? I've solved every case that I've taken on, except for the mystery of how to put a hat on. My head is a strange shape. It really is. The point is, you're safe. I'm going to find the culprit. The best thing you can do is sit and relax. Everything will be okay. I don't feel okay. I'm finding it really hard to calm down. I understand. Ghosts are scary. But it might not just be a ghost. You really think it's not a ghost? I don't know for sure. Oh. Let's try a visualization exercise. What's a visual exorcism? It's a thing where we pretend. Imagine, you're on a beach, surrounded by calming waves, and a rat break dancing in the background. You can feel the cool breeze on your face. The waves slowly move in, and then out. It's a safe beach. What beach is it? This beach. This isn't a safe beach. There's a ghost here. No, the ghost is on holiday. Oh, okay. Where is it? On a road trip. Cool. Can we visualize that we're on a road trip instead? But the ghost is on the road trip. Great point. Continue. Anyways, the waves are coming in and out slowly. There's nothing to worry about. No ghosts around at all. The ghost is on a road trip. Yep. Nothing to fear. A nice, sandy beach. Just be in the ocean. How do you feel? So relaxed. Great. Me too. Thank you so much, detective. That's okay. I want to give you something as thanks. Perhaps a piece of my crown. Oh, I got a chunk of pure gold! Wow, that's so kind. This is really heavy. It's made of pure gold. Why? I like gold. Okay. Okay, Larry, we're making a bomb. It's like Harry Potter puppet pals all over again. Shall we make some dynamite? Uh, yeah. Nice. I'll cook us some dynamite and we can get exploded, baby. Well, this is it. Yup, time to blow this cave up. Larry, explosives are dangerous. Time to carefully blow this cave up. Thanks. No worries. I'm nervous. Me too, and I'm not even coming into the cave. You're not. I don't like dark spaces. I'm a sunny boy, baby. I'm not a baby. Sorry. Anyway, good luck. Look after yourself in there. Thanks, Larry. Let's do this. Oh, he just threw that bomb. Oh, they're dead. Oh, Larry's dead. Oh, we in here. Oh. Oh, I'm in here. Oh, we're going. Look at all the mushrooms. Mushroom dance. Mushroom dance. Oh, shit. Oh, you dancing. Oh, dang. Look at you go, girl. Hell yeah. Hi! Who are you? Are you a ghost? <laughs> what? I don't think so. Are you sure? Hmm. Yeah, that's great. You're not wrong. So, uh, who are you? Finley. Um, who are you? The detective. Howdy. Wait a minute. Finley. I know that name. I'm pretty well known around local dance circles. That's not it. Oh, you're Martin's friend. Yeah. What are you doing down here? Practicing for the dance competition. It's tomorrow. How long have you been down here? Uh, hmm. Geez, like two weeks, I guess? I didn't even, like, realize. Wait, two weeks? Have you seen any ghosts around? <laughs> nah. Just me down here. Does Martin know you're down here? I don't think so. He never comes down here. Really? Why not? 
He thinks every dark space is haunted. He reads all those ghost books, and there's like a ghost in like every crevice. It's good for me though. Perfect spot to train. You've been dancing for two weeks straight? Haha, <laughs> yeah. Aren't you tired? I mean, I take naps. And these mushrooms are super nutritious. They also make everything a weird rainbow color. Gross. Anyways, Martin's been super spooked out because he's been hearing weird noises all over the island. Any idea what those noises could be? I've been listening to my radio while dancing. This cave has a lot of holes. The sound from your radio can easily travel up to the surface. I bet it sounds super warped too. You know you've been trapped in here, right? The cave has been blocked off by rocks. Oh, really? Yeah, you, you could have died. Then I'd actually be a ghost. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Anyways, we should probably head back up to the island. Yep. Finley? Hey! Hi! What are you doing here? I was in the cave. You... What? How'd you get in? It's been sealed up for weeks. Two weeks to be exact. As it turns out, there was never a ghost. It was Finley in the cave. All along. She was so wrapped up in practicing, she didn't even notice the cave got caved in. The noises from her radio carried up to the surface and sounded super spooky. But... My ghost books! I was so sure it was a ghost. So, just to be clear, you were practicing for the competition this whole time? Yep, I'm in it to win it. I'm still not entirely sure what this dance competition involves. Dance competition, best dancer wins. Before we dance, I just wanna say, thanks for solving the mystery detective. No problem at all. I had a lot of help. Also, you owe me thousands of dollars though. So, shall we, Buggy? Let's go. Oh shit, we gonna be dancing? Is it dance time? Oh, look at them all dancing! Look at them go! Aw, oh, dang. Aw, oh, man. Look at him go. Look at Martin. Oh, oh look at the mouse go. Aw, oh, the mouse. Oh my god, he's so tall. Aw, oh, look at the alligator. Oh, look at him go. Oh, look at me! Look at me go! Look at me go! Pick the winner! <gasps> we get to pick the winner? Okay, I'm gonna pick the mouse. Look at him! Look at them all! Aww! Goodbye, guys! Frog Detective, Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. How may I help you? Detective. Supervisor! Great work on the Haunted Island mystery. Thank you, I tried really hard. I don't think even Lobster Cop could have pulled that one. I think you're underestimating Lobster Cop. You're probably right. Anyway, I saw you busted a groove at the dance competition. Yeah, where'd you see that? It was on TV. Every channel. Every channel? In HD. Cool. I didn't even see any cameras. Well, you certainly impressed the public. My phone has been ringing off the hook. Mostly calls are about your dancing. But I did get one call about a case. Have you heard of the Warlock Woods? I haven't. Well, there's something very strange going on there. They need our best investigator on the job. Lobster cop wasn't available. Nah. Can you handle another case, detective? I can handle anything. This game was really, really fun to play um, on its own. I know it was like 90% dialogue and like 10% gameplay, but I had a lot of fun playing this game. I really did. I liked all the characters. I thought they were all very silly and goofy and funny. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this little like Halloween special of just this little haunted island game that wasn't scary at all. It was just some girl dancing, living her best life. Thank you guys all for watching and remember that I may be a disappointed frog, but I'm not disappointed in you. Bye bye.